sometimes when you are using the Arrhenius equation, they may have give you a rearranged form that allows you to use it for different purposes more readily. And the rearranged form can be found by taking natural logs of both sides. Now, you will be given this. You're not expected to be able to do this yourself. But if you are taking A-level maths, you should be able to do this yourself. So if we take natural logs of both sides. So remember that the equation was K equals A, E to the minus E, A over RT. If we take a natural log of both sides, we get log of K equals log of A. And then when you do the log of two things times together, they become added. But if you take the log of the exponential, the natural log of the exponential, you lose the function completely. You get minus EA over RT just as its fraction. So this is a different way of expressing the Arrhenius equation. And again, if you need it this way, the exam board is going to give it you this way in the exam question. So you would just use it as given. So here's an example using it in this form, often used in this form to calculate the activation energy. So it was used in the other form to calculate K or A. It's used in this form to calculate the activation energy. So calculate a value for EA given that we've got the following data. So we've got the temperature T here, and that temperature is in the right units. We've got K and we've got A. So we're going to say log of 1.0 times 10 to the minus 10 equals the log, natural log of 2.1 times 10 to the 9 minus the activation energy. Remember, we had the gas constant on the previous page, 8.314 times 300. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in those first two log values into our calculator and just work them out. I'm just going to bring my calculator in. I know it's going to cover over a part there, but we don't need that bit just now. So I'm just going to work out this bracket here. So I'm going to go ln 1.0 times 10 to the minus 10. Work that out. So that one's coming out as minus 23.0. I'm going to do the other log. So ln 2.1 times 10 to the 9. That one's coming out as plus 21.5. Okay, and then I'm going to just copy the rest of it for now. I'm just going to remove the calculator for a minute so we can see what we're doing. Minus EA over 8.314300. Okay, now I'm going to do a bit of algebra to rearrange that. Okay, so I'm going to take away uh, minus 21.5 from each side. So if I take away minus 21.5 from each side, yeah, so that's my next step, I'm going to get minus 44.5, because I was minus 23 and I have minus 21.5, equals minus EA over 8.314 times 300. Yeah. So now I'm going to multiply both sides by... 8.314 and 300. So I'll bring my calculator back in. So remember that I had taken um, minus 23.0 and I'd taken away 21.5 and that's how I got minus, so there you go, 44.5. Now I'm going to times it by 8.314 and times it by 300. So I'm going to times both sides by the bottom line and I'm going to get minus EA equals minus one one zero nine nine one point nine now that's probably way too many significant figures but we'll sort that out in a minute now because they're both minus i can just say ea equals one one zero nine nine one point nine but that when we've worked it out like that is going to have come out in joules per mole So we need to give EA in kilojoules per mole. So remember, we're going to divide by 1,000 to go into kilojoules per mole. I'll move the decimal place three spaces this way. So I'm going to go for 101, 111 even, sorry, kilojoules per mole. I've rounded up at this point to three significant figures. And in fact, I could have rounded to two significant figures, and that would have been 110 kilojoules per mole. So pause the video and see if you can have a go at the next example.
So if we just have a look there, this is what I've um, done. I'm just going to show you on the calculator the steps. Now I did do some rounding in here, so you may well have got a slightly different number, but at the end, hopefully, with three significant figures answer in kilojoules per mole, you've got the same. So I'm just going to bring my calculator over, which means you might not be able to see part of my numbers temporarily. So we can do the ln of the k value, 2.8 times 10 to the minus 2. And you can see there, that's what I've got, minus 3.5755, minus 3.58. And if you do the ln of the a, 4.73 times 10 to the 10, you can see that number coming up to, oops, didn't need two of those, did I? There we go, 24.6. Right. Now, when you take those away, you get minus 28.2. And if you take that and times by 8.314 and our temperature, which in this case was in degrees C, so I had to convert it to Kelvin. I did that there, 599. I'm getting this number. Now, I then cut off some of this and I rounded it to um, three significant figures, minus 14000. But I also got rid of the minus sign because both sides would, be, sides would be minus. And then if you divide by 1,000 you get 140. Remember that we're we're doing the we're taking off the minus sign, so we've got 140 kilojoules per mole.